Hello and welcome to another sport video of Nexus Themes. In this video I will show you issues that could occur if you're using wrongly sized images for your slider. Uh, in such a way that they will be cut off. If you have cut off images in your WordPress slider then this video will be for you. For this demonstration I'll be using the Lawn Care WordPress theme but please note that it works the same for all the themes that we provide. If you're using a theme like for example the Lawn Care and you're using the slider that ships with the theme, for example the one that you see over here on the home page, then of course you will want to or quite likely you will want to upload your own images. If you upload images like for example the image that you see over here, you will see that this image is uh, more like square rather than being a rectangular, uh, have a rectangular size. So if you compare the images which are currently in the demo environment, you will see that these ones are way wide rather than being tall. So the, the ratio between the width and the height is called the aspect ratio. And the aspect ratio of the images in here are, as you can see, way different than, for example, an image that you can shoot with your, with your uh, photo camera, with your, uh, with your digital cameras. And what happens if you upload these images, you will see that the images will be cut off by the system. Uh, as you can see right here, this is a site that is being constructed by one of our clients. And you can see this first slide shows the same picture that I showed you here. So rather than showing the entire image, it only shows the top part and it cuts off uh, the image till you only see the first bit of the roof. Let me show you that first slide one more time. So it's cut off here. And that's because the aspect ratio, as you can see here, is that it should be way wider than being tall, more like a panoramic picture. If you want to change that uh, limitation, then of course it's possible to show the entire height of the images, but then you need to change the configuration. So you should either cut off the particular part that you want to show in the slider images in the individual slides so that's the best option but if you want to show the entire screen uh, the entire uh, real estate of the of the photo that's possible too and i will show you here how that would work out so um simply use uh, hover with your mouse over the slider and select the second uh, the second icon so that looks like a plug this allows you to configure the slider widget in different ways than changing the individual slides which is for the top icon that you see here so use and select the second button which looks like a plug and you will get all kinds of configuration options for example the height of each slide is currently maximized to 400 pixels if you want the system just to use the images as is, so not to cut off the, the photos by a special height and a special number of pixels, simply select none. If you select none and hit save, then the slider will re-render itself and it will now show the entire image. But as you can see, there is still, if you would ask me, uh, there is still an issue now because right now the images are way too tall, as you can see. But that's that's not because of a bug in the theme or something like that, but it's because of the fact that the images that you upload should fit a certain dimension. So the next question would be, okay, I will cut off the images or I will shoot panoramic photos, but what would be an optimal size, right? That would be a fair question to ask. And uh, our best advice is to follow the, the height or the, the dimension, as you say, the aspect ratio, the ratio between the width and the height of each slide based upon the sample size that we have of the theme that you're using. So this site is using the Lawn Care WordPress theme. And this is the Lawn Care WordPress theme. You can spawn a trial environment by going to the product page on our website to so go to nexusthemes.com find the theme that you are using and spawn a trial environment you can try each theme for free if you do so you will end up in a, an environment just like the one i'm using over here and then if you hover with your mouse again over the over the slider then use the in this case the first icon so this is the set of slides in the system click on it and you will see that each slide has a certain dimension. You can see that this one is 834 pixels wide and it's 232 
pixels in height. So this is the aspect ratio. It's 834 versus 232. You will see that the other images are quite similar. The, the height is just a little bit off. It's like four pixels. This one is four pixels higher than this one. And this one is uh, one pixel less high than th that one. But this is, this is about the aspect ratio which we consider or which the designer of this theme considers optimal for the theme that we're looking at right now. So for the case of the lawn care, make the images have a width of 834 pixels and make it 232 pixels in height and that would render an optimal image so cut the images and you will get um, you will get a nice uh, aspect ratio which would look around the one that you saw over here 400 pixels by the way of course that does mean that you will have to let me refresh the page to ensure it renders properly there it goes. You will have to ensure that the images that you upload are cut into that specific aspect ratio that I just mentioned. And it's up to you as the designer of the, of the website to cut the right proportion, which is, of course, well, not that easy. Um, I don't have a video about how to cut images, but that's, uh, that's up to you. If you don't know how to do it, then you can contact a web designer near your place who can very likely help you out with this, uh, with this work. All right, I hope this was helpful. I hope by now you have learned uh, what could be the reason or what is the reason if images are cut off if you upload them using the slider widget and what you can do about it. If you have any more questions about the slider widget or any of the other questions you might have for any of the other features in our themes, please do let us know because we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.